there were a bunch of shouts and that's when I realized that Prime Minister Trudeau's elbow had made minimal contact with one of the MPs. And that's when I knew our country would never be the same. It was a beautiful spring day outside. I noticed because I knew one day I'd be asked to do a retrospective video. Starting with the weather is a great introduction. I was preparing my speech on the doctor-assisted suicide bill. As a physician, this is a very important issue for me because I always wanted to kill people. I was explaining the voting procedure to my class when I noticed Tom Mulcair and two other MPs were blocking the path of the Conservative whip. Then out of nowhere, Justin Trudeau walks over there himself because he takes his job as House of Commons hall room monitor very seriously. It was terrifying. He was screaming obscenities. I could see flames in his eyes, smoke coming out of his ears, and he had a medieval broadsword in his hand. Then, when he grabbed for Mr. Brown, it happened. It happened. It happened. It was chaos. People were shouting, babies were crying, people were shouting, why are there babies in here? This was the day Canada lost its innocence. As a Canadian, there are certain things you will always remember. Where you were when Terry Fox made his run. Where you were when Crosby scored the golden goal. And a second after it happened, I knew I would always remember where I was for Elbowgate. Then, after a couple days, I forgot about it completely until you guys asked me to do this. Personally, I don't see what the big deal is. I mean, who among us hasn't elbowed a coworker in the tit? <laughs>